Okay, the, to the left here, uh, there are some tools that we use. Uh, obviously, right here is your selection, the rectangular and elliptical uh, selections, which you can use to make those types of selections. Also, right underneath it is your lasso tool. You also have polygonal lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool. Lasso tool is just a freeform selection tool. You can just draw on your image and make a selection, and you can modify that selection that you made, as you can see. Uh, and how the magnetic lasso tool differs is that if you're trying to trace and make a selection as I'm doing right now, magnetic lasso tool allows you because to to uh, be to by not you don't have to be too precise. It just finds the edges, the contrast, and the contours, and it tries to create a selection as best as it can. This can be a great time saver. Uh, again, experiment with it. Also, we have the quick wand tool. Again, this is a selection option. Let's say you're trying to select a uniform color. For instance, right here we have this red rectangle and we want to make a selection of it. I'm just going to click on it and as you see a rectangular selection conforming the exact shape of the box is uh, created. And if the color, the color range is too great, obviously you don't get uh, the as desirable results, but still this is uh, helpful and there are many options here you can select such as the tolerance value if you experiment with it uh, it will become clear how it works and down here is your brushes uh, for instance the healing brush right here and the clone stamp tool we will talk about these in another chapter but we also have our regular brush and pencil tools as you already know and the eraser tool the background eraser tool and the uh, ordinary eraser tool. Uh, also you have your gradient tool and your paint bucket. You can use the paint bucket tool to apply your foreground color, in this case green, to, uh, to your images. As you can see it's pretty handy. And the gradient tool allows you to create nice gradients just like that. Excuse me, down here is your pen tool. You can create uh, paths with the pen tool. Uh, we already talked about this in some of our videos. We're not going to get into detail here, but I may make a different chapter on the pen tool. But um, you can create the pe you can use the pen tool to create precise paths, which later you can uh, create nice swooshes and swirls, or you can make um, you know pretty accurate selections using these. Uh, using the pen tool. Also right underneath is the path selection and direct selection tool. This helps you modify the different uh, elements of the path that you create using the pen tool. And uh, the, the shapes right here, if you click on them, you'll see that there is many different, sha different shapes that you can use. And down here, down here at the custom shape tool, uh, Photoshop comes with many preset shapes you can use these shapes and the difference between uh, the, the, the special thing about shapes is that they're vector based and what that means is that if you like to resize them to a larger and a bigger version they'll never lose their quality at the edges maybe you notice that sometimes uh, even even if you have a simple uh, rectangle full filled with color if you if you resize that rectangle to a to a uh, a lot bigger version you'll start you'll start getting pixelations at the edges and whatnot but with the uh, vector shapes you can resize them as much as you want and they will always remain lossless meaning that they will always remain the same quality okay and also uh, down here you have your foreground color and background color you can swap them by clicking this little uh, double-sided arrow right here you can click on each of them separately to change their colors nicely, just like that. And really quickly, uh, let's talk about the history and the layers uh, panel really quickly. Let's start with the layer. Uh, as you can see, we have two layers right now. And the little eye icon next to them means uh, which layers are visible and which are not. If I uh, click the eye on the layer that we have the red box, as you can see, we can make it disappear. We can also delete this layer uh, by selecting it and clicking on 
to um, the trash uh, this little uh, the trash bin symbol right here as you can see we can delete it or we can and there's another way of deleting a layer you can click drag this to the trash bin and it will disappear and you can create a new layer by clicking this new layer symbol and if you want to create an exact if you want to create an exact copy of the layer of a layer exact clone of a layer you can drag that layer down to the new layer symbol and it will create an exact copy of that layer also uh, you can create uh, groups down here if you click a group if you have sometimes when you're do, uh, doing your editing in, through your workflow you will realize that uh, you have way too many layers open and to groups just allow you to uh, categorize them and just keep track of them you can just drag layers under the groups and if you just collapse that group you just get a uh, just easier time uh, handled, ha handling your layers we will talk about layers in, in uh, much depth in another chapter so I'm not going to get into depth again here also your history consists of the series of steps that you created and this allows you to go back and uh, go to a previous state in, uh, in your editing process and how many steps uh, over here you can actually change that under edit and preferences if you go to performance and click on that right here is your history and cache states right now my uh, Photoshop is set to 40 history states which means that 40 different things that I do is going to be kept track of by Photoshop so I can go back and forth in time but this is very RAM intensive and it reduces system performance if you have way too many history states so make sure that uh, you have a, a, an ample amount of RAM if you like to work with a high number of history states okay well next we're gonna talk about uh, some in-depth uh, Photoshop tools um, in the in the next chapters